Hi everyone, this is Deborah Cook with Deborah Cook Photography. I am so excited about creating these backgrounds for Sumerana. If you have seen my work, you know that very few locations make me more excited than wildflowers. I absolutely love it. I love color and now you can have it too. So I am doing this video to show you a couple of tricks and a couple of ways of using these backgrounds. So I created several with different colors, different locations, different lightings. So here, for instance, there's this one with lots of greens. If you prefer your greens to have a little bit more yellow, you can go to hue saturation, you go to yellow, and then you can add a little bit more of the magenta and uh, yellowish to your yellow. If you go slide this way, it's gonna be more uh, blue. If you slide this way, you'll be more yellow. And then you can just go to your um, layer mask, uh, press command I to invert, and then you can paint over here. So this is one way of changing the colors if you want to. And obviously you, if you want to, you know, uh, go and add even more uh, magenta, you can, or if you wanna saturate or desaturate your yellows, you certainly can. So. This is one way of changing the look of the background if you love it, but you're not sure about the colors, okay? So here's some more backgrounds. This one over here makes it a beautiful uh, backdrop if you, um, you want to insert, you know, a baby or a little basket or something around here. This one, I left out a little bit of this area over here so you can um, crop it if you want to and just place a subject here. Here are a couple things that you want to pay attention when you are using uh, digital backgrounds. This one, for instance, you have to read the light. You can figure it out where the lighting is coming from and then also your focal point. So it wouldn't make sense to place a subject that it's sharp and crisp right over here in the back because everything is out of focus over here or if everything is uh, out of focus over here. So you need to pay attention to your depth of field and then where the lighting is coming from. For instance, over here, this background is basically done. You just place your subject here, a child or a family or an animal or whatever, right around here in this area. And you can kind of see that the lighting is coming from here. I don't have any ray lights this way. I have lights this way. So you wanna pay attention and make sure that your subject has lights to the left and then not to the right. So you wanna make sure that the well-lit area is on the left and then there's a little bit of uh, shadows on uh, the right over here. So this is one tip that I give you. And then um, this for instance just has a different uh, color, similar uh, background, but uh, just different coloring. So. Um, now you already know how to change the colors itself. And then this one over here, I wanna show you how I use it. I created this because I have this image over here, for instance, it was taken at the wildflowers, but I don't like this area over here. There's not enough um, flowers in there. So I can go, oops, this one. I can go over here, grab my colors and then place it here and then what I will do is I will press Command T to transform, make it a little bit bigger. And then I am going to create a layer mask. I will press Command I to invert. And then with my brush at 100% in white, because I inverted, I can just come over here and paint a little bit of these colors here. And this is great to help you blend the outfits or help you blend if you're placing a subject. So this will be my before and after. And then still in this image, if I wanted a little bit more color here, for instance, I can come over here and I can um, just cut here. Let's say I'll cut right here and then Command J to create a new layer with just this piece. And then I'll go and place it on top of my subject. I'm going to press Command T to transform, make it a little bit bigger. And then I will do the same thing. I'll create a layer mask, I will invert, and then with a white brush at 100%, I can just paint in the background. 
same thing you want to pay attention to light the lighting is coming in this direction this part of her dress is a lot brighter has a lot more highlights so I want to put the bright part of my light right here I would be super duper picky about it and I would do lots of back and forth masking but for the purpose of this video I just want to show you possibilities so um, I would invert my brush and take a little bit off reduce the opacity of my brush and then kind of help it blend in a little bit if you want to you can reduce the opacity of the layer make it less visible and then I will flatten take this little piece of flower over here that I noticed came back with my uh, background and then here is the new image that I have and then I would start the editing in this image but you know it will go from a blah blah image to a beautiful image with lots of interest lots of colors and then you start your editing um, I had done a little bit of cropping and I had done a little bit of remove the subject in the back before I started this video but that is how you compose an image so that's how you can use those uh, skinny little strips just to kind of blend in um, this one you know the it's basically ready you just put your beautiful subject right over here with some lighting on the top here is another image from um, that same day. Let's see, I'm not gonna use that anymore. Let's use something different. Let's cut the flowers from here. Command J to cut it, and then I will go and drop it over here. Command T to transform. Make it a little bit bigger it has to be the similar size so obviously i don't want to make it super um, big or super small i kind of want to match the size that i already have so I'm, i think i'm going to make it even a little bit bigger and then i will do a layer mask i will invert and then i will paint right over here with white at 100 percent and kind of blend it in it's a little bit brighter than the original image that I have. I can uh, darken a little bit. Again, I'm not being super careful or anything. I just wanna show you the possibilities. I can Command T, transform, pull a little bit more, and then layer, darken it up a little bit invert and then just paint to match and then I can go ahead and start editing my image I'm gonna make it even a little bit bigger and taller oops wrong layer right here There you go. So you can use parts of the image to create a little bit of depth, to create color, to create interest. If you um, if you want to, you can just use you know part of it for uh, a back of the image that you already have and just replace part of it. But the main thing is enjoy, have fun, create beautiful images, and I cannot wait to see what you share in the group. Please do share, tag me if you will, if you, um, if you want me to take a look. I am so excited for this and I cannot wait to see what everyone does with it. Thank you so much and I will see you soon with some more things that I have in store for you.